All right, so we've got a great looking crash sound effect here, but what can we do to make it look even cooler? I'm gonna show you three quick tips. The first one is to add an outline. And this is something that's actually not built into Procreate for some strange reason, but it's not hard to do. Go to my crash layer here. I'm gonna to slide to duplicate it. Then I'm gonna hide the top one there. And I'll select, click off, and then just drag black fill on there. Now I will go to adjustments, Gaussian blur. Click anywhere on the screen and just drag to the right and that basically blurs that layer. And you don't need very much, like three to 5% is probably gonna be enough depending on the resolution of your artwork. And then let's make the orange crash visible again. So now we can see that we got the blurred black version behind the orange version. And then we just go to select now I got to set to automatic add color fill. Click anywhere in the letters and drag right away. And it automatically adds a stroke. And the further you drag to the right, the thicker the stroke until it basically fills the whole screen black. And if you go back to the left, you get a thinner stroke. So just kind of drag that back and forth till it looks good. Let go, there you go, there's a stroke. Second tip is to add a drop shadow. So we'll go back to layers here. And I'm gonna go back to the top crash. Duplicate it again, and then we'll fill that guy black. And then we'll click and hold and just drag it down so it's underneath the main orange one. And then we'll click the transform tool here and just move it around. And we can have it off to the left, off to the right. You can even get fancy and shrink it down a little bit. So it's a bit smaller than the sound effect, so it looks like it's kind of behind it. And you can get kind of that effect of it coming up away from the source of the sound. And just click off the transform tool, got our drop shadow. Third trick is to play around with the blending modes. To do this, we'll need to merge our sound effect into one layer. So I'll click on the top one. If you click on the image here, merge down, do it one more time. So now the whole sound effect is on one layer. Let's make it more visible here. Click on the little N, which is set to normal as the default. And then you just slide through all the different blending modes and see what looks good. Screen is always a good option. Um, overlay is sometimes cool. Hard light, linear light. That looks pretty great to me. You can see the artwork through the sound effect, but it's still got the contrasting color for the foreground and it's got the uh, visible outline around it. So click off, zoom in a little. I like it.